the next crypto bull market is likely to kick off as soon as next year. Without preparation, you risk missing out on this chance, or worse, losing a lot of money. In this video, I've got your back. I'll explain how to prepare for the next crypto bull run in 5 simple steps. Plus, we'll have veteran trader Eric Crown dropping some knowledge. Before we dive in, I want to stress that this video was made exclusively for educational purposes and does not constitute financial advice. I'm Giovanni, your host. Let's get into it. First things first. How do we even know if the bull market will happen next year? The truth is, we can't be sure. But if we look at Bitcoin's past performance, it seems pretty likely. Previous crypto bull markets followed a four-year cycle. They usually kick off with the Bitcoin halving event, where the supply of new Bitcoins being created gets cut in half. The next halving is set to happen sometime next spring and could be a major catalyst for the next crypto bull market. Besides the halving, there is another potential catalyst to consider. The approval of a spot Bitcoin ETF could spark increased demand from institutional investors. Now, assuming this cycle unfolds as expected, we need to understand where we are in it. The low point of the last crypto bear market was in November 2022, marked by the FTX collapse. Since then, the price of Bitcoin has surged by over 100%, which many believe is a sign that the bull market might already be underway. However, professional trader Eric Crown has a different view. This would still be sort of the pre having rally that Bitcoin's in the midst of right now. I think that the overwhelming, overwhelming majority of this rally is likely done. I think what's maybe a little more reasonable is Bitcoin puts in one more explosive move into the low $40,000 territory, and then we spend the rest of the next, you know, I would say three to six months playing out a sideways and downside move. If Eric's assessment is proved correct, it's good news because it suggests it's still early for you to join the market before the actual bull run starts. Typically, that occurs in the months following the Bitcoin halving. If history repeats itself, we can expect the most significant movements to happen in the second half of 2024 or during 2025. So, how far could Bitcoin go in the next big jump? Over time, the gains in each bull market have been decreasing. That is a natural consequence of Bitcoin maturing as an asset. In 2017, it went from about $1,000 to just below $20,000, which is 20x. In 2020 2021, it moved from $10,000 to just below $70,000, which is 7x. Predictions suggest this time we might see a 3x, 4x increase, possibly taking prices beyond $100,000. Now that we got a sense of where we are in the market cycle, let's pick our crypto portfolio. I think every good crypto portfolio should include Bitcoin and Ethereum. They are the most trusted cryptos and have been around for a while, making them the safest choices. But keep in mind, they are unlikely to increase tenfold or a hundredfold. The chance for the biggest gains is in smaller altcoins. Many of them could shoot up, but the downside is they might crash hard, so be careful. To figure out how much an altcoin can grow during a bull market, look at its market cap. Smaller market caps mean the coin's price can move more easily in both directions. So the percentage of smaller altcoins in your crypto portfolio depends on how much risk you're comfortable with. I would do probably 70 to 80% Bitcoin, 10 to 15% Ethereum, and then the rest could kind of gamble on altcoins and maybe one of them, you know, goes absolutely insane. When it comes to alts, your choices should align with the crypto sector that excites you, whether it's gaming, DeFi, meme coins, or NFTs. My advice is simple. Do your own research and be aware of the risks. Crypto bull markets attract hackers and scammers looking to snatch people's funds. That is why, before jumping into the bull market, you must set up a safe way to store your cryptocurrency. When you invest in crypto, it's on you to keep your money secure. You become your own bank. The safest move is to take control of your crypto by using a cold wallet. Don't keep your crypto on an exchange. Learn from the recent bear market. If a crypto exchange runs into trouble, getting your money back might be really hard, maybe even impossible. So only use exchanges for buying and selling, not for holding onto your crypto for the long term. 
Without a solid strategy, you could end up losing money even in a bull market. A simple and safe strategy is called DCA or Dollar Cost Averaging. It means buying a certain amount of crypto regularly, like every month or week. This is good for people with limited money to invest all at once or who don't want to keep track of the market every day. Whatever plan you go for, having one is super important. By sticking to your strategy, you avoid getting swept up in FOMO or the fear of missing out. FOMO is a big reason why people make impulsive decisions and end up losing their gains. Social media are a major source of FOMO, so be aware of that. Understand that when you get tied into a lot of these social media channels, they, they are incentivized to play with your emotions. When you start to feel yourself feeling really like you're missing out, really like you need to get in this next thing because it can be the next Bitcoin or whatever, it's probably not. It's best to really tune out and, and tune down the social media sphere during these times because it can usually lead you more astray than lead you closer to the point. And lastly, always keep in mind the golden rule of crypto investing. Never invest money that you cannot afford to lose. In the realm of crypto, markets are unpredictable and black swan events are always a possibility. At the end of the day, the market owes you nothing. The entitlement that we deserve X, Y, and Z as far as the market goes because you sat through a bear market is just, it's just asinine. It doesn't exist. The market does not care. The market doesn't love you. It also doesn't hate you. It just is what it is. Remember, in the world of cryptocurrency investing, the ultimate goal is to take profits at some point. During a bull market, many fall into the trap of holding onto their position for too long, driven by greed, only to lose everything in the inevitable downturn. The gains you see on the charts are just numbers until you lock them in by selling crypto for fiat or stablecoins. That is why having an exit strategy becomes essential. It could be a predetermined price target or a set percentage of profit that you commit to. For instance, you might aim to increase your initial investment by 30%, 50% or even 100%. You don't have to sell everything at once. Consider a gradual approach like selling 25% at one price target and another 30% at a different price and so on. Also, don't forget to set up similar price targets for a potential market downturn. These are called stop losses. It's also a good idea to have a clear purpose for your gains, whether it's buying a car or making a real estate investment. Having a goal can guide your decision on when to cash out. Again, stick to the plan. In the volatile world of crypto, discipline is your best ally. And that wraps up today's video, guys. I hope you are now feeling more confident about navigating the upcoming crypto bull market. If you found our insights valuable, a thumbs up and a subscription to our channel would mean a lot. I'm Giovanni, your host. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.